2018 Honda Accord Review The new 2018 Accord is genuinely impressive and substantially a lot better than most other mid-size sedans. Thanks to your increasing popularity of crossovers, mid-size sedans won't be the default vehicle of choice for small families. Automakers are outquitting the fight, however, having a number of traditionally popular models significantly refreshed or fully redesigned this season. Headlining a list is the 2018 Honda Accord, and its particular improvements are dramatic. It starts on the outside of the new Accord's fastback profile and pronounced styling lines allow it to be look more deluxe and European versus the norm. Inside, Honda has thoroughly reworked the inner, and it is now one of several nicest cabins inside class. On the top touring trim, we have a pleasing combination of soft touch plastic, leather upholstery, fox leather door inserts, and convincing wood trim about the dash. Even on lower levels, including the sport, the cabin is dolled up with carbon fiber look trim and forks leather trim seats. Front and center is usually a new touch screen that may be much easier to use as opposed to old system. Unlike the very last Accord, which featured a touch paid only interface that's slow and sometimes maddening to work with, the revolutionary screen is thoughtfully organized and uses physical buttons and knobs for tuning and high level navigational functions. The touch screen, that is standard on almost the base LX model, also supports Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Pleasingly, the Accord also provides plenty of advanced driving features. Adaptive cruise control, forward collision warning with automatic braking, and lane departure warning and mitigation are optional on other Hondas, however standard on every Accord. Top-notch crash test safety scores supply you with added comfort, too. Overall, the redesigned 2018 Honda Accord significantly moves the needle forward from the mid-size sedan segment. Its many strengths and not enough major drawbacks ensure it is an easy recommendation for any individual looking for the spacious, comfortable and upscale Ford or Notably, we pick the 2018 Honda Accord as one of best mid-size sedans for in 2010. What's new? The Honda Accord is redesigned for 2018. Though we appreciate the LX's insightful standard features as well as the sports enthusiast oriented setup, most Purs is going to be happy with all the mid trade decks. Like the Sport, it comes having a power driver seat along with a touch screen with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto capability. It also adds useful extras, for instance, blind spot monitoring, satellite radio, a sunroof, and heated mirrors in front seats. It doesn't cost much more as opposed to LX, and you will probably love any additional luxuries whether you retain your Accord for two main years or twenty. Trim levels and features. The 2018 Honda Accord is sold in five trim levels. The LX would be the most affordable model and is also loaded with features, including dual zone climate control and advanced security measures. The Sport doesn't cost a lot more and incorporates some visual upgrades and Android Auto Apple CarPlay compatibility. The X gives up a number of the sport's flair but counts a sunroof and heated front seats among its upgrades. The XL primarily adds leather upholstery, as you move the top trim touring boasts every feature available around the Accord, including adaptive dampers with an even cushier ride. A turbocharged 1.5 litre four cylinder engine 192 horsepower. 192 pound feet of torque is standard on all trim levels. It comes linked to a continuously variable automatic transmission CVT. If you're seeking a little more excitement, a turbocharged 2.0 litre four cylinder 252 horsepower, 273 lbfd is on sport, EXL and Touring models. A 10-speed traditional automatic is paired to this particular engine. 
a six-speed manual transmission can be a no-cost option about the sport model no matter engine. Standard features within the base LX model include 17-inch alloy wheels, LED exterior lighting headlights, tail lights and running lights, automatic high beam control, a rear view camera, push button ignition, a motorist information display, dual zone automatic climate control, a height adjustable driver seat, Bluetooth, a 7 inch touch screen, plus a 4 speaker audio system using a USB port. Standard driver aids include lane departure warning and intervention, adaptive cruise control, and forward collision warning with automatic emergency braking. Upgrading on the Sport adds 19 inch wheels, LED fog lights, a rear spoiler, chrome exhaust tips, a leather wrapped controls, an 8 way power adjustable driver seat with 4 way power lumbar, a 6040 split rear bench, cloth and simulated leather upholstery. An 8 inch touch screen, along with an 8 speaker head unit with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. The X builds off of the LX model, adding the sports interior upgrades without the presence of sports unique upholstery and shift paddles, 17 inch wheels, heated mirrors, a sunroof, keyless entry and ignition, blind spot monitoring, heated front seats, rear air vents, yet another USB port and satellite and HD radio. The XL further adds an auto-dimming rear view mirror, driver seat memory settings, a 4-way power passenger seat, leather upholstery along with a 10-speaker head unit. A navigation product is optional. At the top in the ladder could be the Touring Trim, which equips the Accord with 19-inch wheels, adaptive suspension dampers, chrome exterior trim, illuminated door handles, automatic wipers, front and back parking sensors, adjustable driving modes, a head-up display, ventilated front seats, heated rear seats, a navigation system, a Wi-Fi hotspot as well as a wireless phone charger. Models using the turbocharged 2.0-litre engine are fundamentally the same for their 1.5-litre counterparts, though the Sport 2.0T provides you with keyless entry, heated front seats and blind spot monitoring. Trim tested. Each vehicle typically can be purchased in multiple versions which are fundamentally similar. The S on this review provide our full test in the 2018 Honda Accord Touring Turbo 1.5 liters in line 4, CVT Automatic, FWD. Driving. The Accord provides extensive strengths within the road. The drivertrain responds quickly and gives sufficient power. The car corners well, sticking on the road without the need of drama, plus the brakes feel natural and strong. Only the steering fails to get results, while it's accurate as well as simple, additionally, it feels artificial. Acceleration what sets the 2018 Accord apart is not the raw numbers, this is the rapid response to driver input. Our Astested 060 miles per hour use of 8 seconds is average to get a base engine with this segment. Around town, though, the engine feels similarly adequate. Power delivery is smooth. Braking The Accord's brake pedal is firm and it's really easy to judge and find consistent stopping, the brakes never feel grabby. Our panic stop braking distance from 60 miles per hour of 122 feet is average, even so the Accord's brakes instill confidence as a result of good feel and arrow straight stops. Steering The steering is accurate, however the feel in your hands is usually a bit artificial. Fears of insufficient feedback on the front wheels, and resistance doesn't noticeably build through turns, it's virtually just on or off. Fears also a little vagueness where true on center is. Handling Our test car was the Touring, which includes the adaptive suspension. So fitted, that it was impressively stable, planted and confidence inspiring around turns. The car changes direction eagerly. Less expensive Accords definitely won't be quite as good, 
but this really is still among the best handling sedans around. Drivability Honda's smartly tuned CVT automatic makes all the Accord an excellent companion about the road. It will try and upshift whenever possible to improve MPG, however it responds quickly and smoothly to requests for power as it's needed. The Accord also feels more maneuverable than its size suggests. Comfort The new Accord is quiet and cozy in most situations. It insulates against traffic noise particularly well, though tire noise is noticeable for the highway. The ride smooths out small imperfections and absorbs larger bumps. Front seat comfort is adequate. Seat comfort Overall seat comfort is great, with well-placed headrests and nice back support, especially while using adjustable lumbar. But the leather-wrapped seat cushions do not have a large amount of padding, so locating the right adjustment is very important to staying comfortable on longer drives. Ride Comfort The Accord Touring incorporates an adaptive suspension providing you with an excellent ride due to this class. The car feels solid and easily irons out smaller imperfections and absorbs larger hits. You don't feel sharp edges on this car. Noise and Vibration Around town, the Accord is impressively quiet, isolating via traffic and feeling similar to a luxury car. Once you get into gear to freeway speeds, fears some wind noise, but tire noise is a lot more noticeable. It's not enough to intrude on conversation, but it really slash quiet as some rivals. Climate Control All climate settings is usually adjusted with straightforward and clearly labeled manual controls, and also the system regulates cabin temperature easily. The temperature knob lights change colors while you adjust up or down, which is often a fun touch. Seat cooling inside the touring trim is simply moderately effective. Interior Some small points aside, the inner of the Accord offers modern design, quality soft touch materials, many room, as well as a user-friendly infotainment system and control layout. Taller drivers will need to test the seating position, though, for their knees may rub with a piece of hard plastic trim. Is useful. This infotainment strategy is clean, crisp and user-friendly, and basic functions are simple to navigate due to physical buttons. Most controls are very easy to find and recognize. But the media and information display controls around the wheel aren't intuitively presented and take acclimating yourself with. Getting and jetting out. The door sills are high and wide, developing a noticeable step over, but access is otherwise easy. The rear doors open wide, and access is a useful one even in tight spaces. The low seats mean you might have farther to square up when compared to competitors and taller passengers will need to duck exiting the rear seat. Driving Position You can sit low, ensconced within the car, which makes it feel sportier and even more luxurious. Fears a lot of adjustability for individuals who want to sit closer, higher or higher upright. Taller drivers will would like more steering wheel telescope and could find their right knee bumps against some hard plastic trim. Roominess. The interior feels large, making sense because, by EPA interior volume measurements, this can be a full-size car. The driver's near room may go through cramp to longer leg drivers, but otherwise the cabin feels airy and open. Rear leg room is fantastic, though taller passengers will use up all your headroom. Visibility. Forward visibility is great and well-placed rear windows mean there exists a good rear three-quarter view. No problems watching out the large rear window for the road, the high deck lid means you'll rely within the camera when reversing in tight spaces. We found no serious blind spots. Quality The Accord's interior planning is modern and upscale. The touch points are covered in soft touch materials and also the fit tolerances are tight. 
only a few from the textured surfaces reveal themselves to get somewhat tacky feeling, hard plastics. We had some glitches inside our TPMS plus the infotainment system. Utility With excellent trunk volume, an abundance of spots for small items from the cabin, and usually more space than you know what to do with, the Accord offers about the maximum amount of utility as is possible to get a sedan. Small item storage The center console armrest bin is generously sized, and also the front charging ports and wireless charging pad if equipped have been in a cubby with room more than one phone. The door pockets have space for water bottles, as well as the anti-tip cup holders are large. Only the glove box is often a little shallow. Cargo space The Accord's trunk is utterly huge using a capacity of 16.7 cubic feet. The opening is wide, in case a little narrow, however it's all too easy to maneuver objects inside and outside. The 6040 split folding rear seats open even more room for two long objects. Child safety seat accommodation. Latch anchors are placed under clearly marked flaps and are also close to your surface without having seating material impinging on access. Considering the size of the rear seat is, even bulky cars eats shouldn't pose problems. The new, lower roof line could wish for more bending on to situate seats and youngsters. Technology Honda's new infotainment system is usually a huge step up from the very last generation and integrated nicely while using gauge cluster screen and head-up display. A great deal of active safety and driver aids come standard, and they also work well. Voice commands don't succeed, therefore we generally used manual controls. Audio and navigation The premium sound system in our tester can produce many volume without distortion, but quality of sound is unexceptional on an upgraded system. The navigation system incorporates a robust feature set that's all too easy to operate, the graphics are clean, and instructions very easy to follow. Smartphone integration Android Auto and Apple CarPlay work well and so are integrated with all the infotainment system, so smartphone navigation appears from the head-up display and music appears inside media screen. The near-field Bluetooth pairing is neat but starting a connection is not difficult enough that it must be mostly a novelty. Driver aids Only blind spot monitoring and rear cross traffic alert are at standard on lower trims, or maybe you get many aids. Adaptive cruise mostly is effective, nevertheless it sometimes sees neighboring lanes and curves. Forward collision alert doesn't deliver false alerts but can be quite sensitive. Voice control. Voice commands certainly are a mixed bag. While the system is not susceptible to misunderstanding, specific phrasing is essential and it normally takes many steps. Luckily, you will discover on screen prompts. You can't switch the signal from Bluetooth audio streaming having a command, but you will find extensive USB music and navigation commands.